Belize is one of the most beautiful paradise that you can encounter here in Latin America. It's home of the second biggest coral reef of the world. We're gonna have this great opportunity to go and snorkel and understand a little bit more about the life under the sea. We hope that you enjoyed this great expedition through the wonderful place of Belize. Welcome to um, our first day of expedition. Um, we're on Saltwater Key um, for our morning activities of snorkeling, kayaking, and paddle boarding. And then we're later on in the morning, we're heading over to Caribou Key, um, the Smithsonian Institute, where they're doing uh, various different researches on coral life and marine species. This is not a resort, it's a Smithsonian Scientific Research Station and it's associated with the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. And it's one of several stations around the world that are monitoring the condition of our seas. And we have scientists from all over the world that come here to see this amazing ecosystem. We have three separate ecosystems with easy access. The first one is the barrier reef, the second one is the seagrass meadows out here in front. And the third is the mangrove islands, as you see one of the islands with research plots over there. Called the aquarium or the wet lab. And it's where we can bring in live specimens and do research in here. So when I wasn't underwater, I spent most of my time on Caribou in this room. And this morning we collected a bunch of live critters for you guys to look at. If you look really closely, this, this one is kind of moving right now. Kind of waving back and forth saying hey. <laughs> saying hey. Oh, it was great. Uh, I loved seeing the, the research about the crabs. Uh, he did a great job. And then seeing the conch shells and the sea urchins. So, very interesting. We are in tropical paradise. We're at Laughing Bird Key and it is absolutely glorious. Out this side, it's just this tiny, thin little bit of land and out this side is some of the best snorkeling of coral reefs that you'll ever see with lots of soft corals, lots of hard corals, fish, uh, eagle rays. I've got pelicans flying over me right at the moment. And then out this side, we've got our ship with this beautiful view, this 
magnificent part of the world, Belize. I, I love it. it. It reminds me of home. I'm from the tropics in Australia and it's just like being home. This week in Belize, we have been experiencing the ecosystem in many different ways, including having a first-hand look at the underwater world. Belize is a very special place in terms of its marine environment because Belize hosts the second largest coral reef ecosystem in the entire world, second only to the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. I just got out of the water here at Laughing Bird Key, and in my 45 minute snorkel, I got to see a very healthy reef ecosystem from big boulder star coral to marine invertebrates like the queen conch, um, herbivores on the reef, all these coral reef fish that are cleaning the reef and making space for more coral to grow, and predatory fish as well. So the whole ecosystem is able to stay in check. People tend to think that tropical marine ecosystems are full of life, and this is the most supportive environment underwater creatures can live in. However, usually cold water ecosystems are more productive. The reason we see all the life we've been seeing here this week is because of the amazing coral reef we have in Belize. We're really lucky on the National Geographic Quest to have the opportunity to witness such beautiful, healthy reefs here in Belize. It's a treat for me, and it's a treat for everyone on board. Oh my God, it was fabulous. It was so amazing just being there. All the schools of fish, all the colors. I don't know any of the names, but it was amazing. It feels blessed, blessed. It was fabulous. The reef was like unlike anything I've ever seen, and that's what I was looking, looking forward to. I took tons of pictures and finishing it off with a drink. <laughs> there you are. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, here we'll do a three-way. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> So we've just arrived to Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary, but on our way we had some official greeters over the road and we got to stop and get really great looks at the uh, black howler monkeys. And so we had a whole troop that were right over her head. Um, it was beautiful. We got to see a mother and her little baby uh, who was hanging on right on her back, kind of climbing around. And then there were a few other individuals as well. Sometimes when we're walking through the rainforest, it's just so dense with vegetation that it's hard to really get a good look at fauna like that. But this morning it was very beautiful because over the roadway it was nice and open and so we had really nice looks at the group of black howler monkeys. One mother monkey was carrying her little baby on her back and then we saw a couple of twin monkeys that looked like small 
monkeys and they uh, were jumping around in the trees and eating flowers from the trees. I don't know what kind of tree it was, but it was a beautiful yellow blossom tree. It was great. We got out and took pictures and saw the whole little family up in the top of the tree with the yellow flowers and it was kind of fun. Right off the bat we saw it before we had to go try to sweat a lot and look in the jungle to find them. So, kind of easy. <laughs> The book said um, that they're nocturnal, they would be active, they would start active around after dawn oh, okay. until like See him up there? Sorry? What are these? What type of hawk? Oh, all the way through? White hawk. Yeah. White hawk. Never seen one. Welcome to Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary. This is a preserve that was established in 1984 uh, with the help of Alan Rabinowitz, uh, who is a famous wildlife biologist who wanted to save the jaguars. And so you can't really protect animals, you can only protect their habitat. And so he wanted to establish a very large area. I think it's about 120,000 acres in size. Uh, and so this is a really beautiful place. Today we get to get out and explore it by foot. We're gonna be hiking around. So it's a beautiful morning here in Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary. So today is our last day of the, of the Belize uh, voyage and we're going to go explore the Monkey River. Uh, it's a, Monkey River is actually one, the fourth largest river in the country and it has a very well developed estuary. So there's lots of creeks and offshoots and tributaries that go through the mangroves. So it's pretty extensive. You'll, we're going to expect to see a lot of um, low-lying areas far up the river. Um, in some places you'll have the broadleaf forest that comes all the way down to the, to the riverside. But we'll also be seeing a lot of the, the wild grasses and the canes that are associated with, with wet areas and mangroves as well. Of course you're going to see monkeys. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to see the black howler monkeys. And the black howler monkeys are where the, the river actually got its name from. We can also expect to see some other reptiles, maybe crocodiles. Almost every bend you take, something new, something different. Cool man, crocodile. <laughs> Monkey River is actually one of the best ways to end this trip because it connects the sea to the interior of the country. Yesterday we went to the Coxstone. Today we are at the midway point between the sea 
and the land. We hope that you enjoyed this great expedition through the wonders of Belize.